What's up, what's up everyone, this is Eric again. Today's clip is going to be um, me showing you guys my personal collection. Um, my personal collection is quite small compared to what it used to be when I started collecting. Uh, I hit a small pothole in my life where I got rid of everything regrettably but um after a long hiatus I got back into it so I'm gonna show you what I've kept and what I continued on with so here we go <clears throat> this is a personal collection this is the Avengers This is the Batman setup. Now, um, that is the uh, Dark Knight version of the original suit. And if you look at it closely, the suit has held up very nicely. Um, only because I tend to try to keep maintain and keep it the way uh, keep it out of extreme poses for a significant amount of time so it doesn't crease where it shouldn't um, here's the uh, version 1 Joker with a DX head slightly modified and tailored shirt and vest so that uh, it sits nicely that is the uh, version 1 suit. And there's the, uh, the DX head sculpt on a standard Hot Toys body and suit. There's my modded uh, Bane. Generally, if it has um, rubber pieces on a figure, I will generally not put them in extreme poses, just so I can have that really, <clears throat> so I can maintain the actual body structure from the rubber. These are a sideshow. Medicom, Hot Toys, mixed shelf here, all Star Wars. The three clones in the back are Medicom. Side shows Boba Fett and Clone Trooper, version phase two or three. I think it was phase three. Um, the Hot Toys, Luke. Um, I gotta thank my friend John for that. He gave his battle damaged half version to me for no reason except for being cool um, these are the uh, kit bash version of um, Han Solo those were the uh, sideshow clothing and accessories uh, with a Medicom head and new line boots which are actual real leather which I love it works really well I think I put it on a Hot Toy Slim Body um, this one is the Medicom Han Solo with the Medicom head uh, Medicom accessories and clothing with the exception of the uh, boots again new line um, though this time I used a soldier story body. So, you kind of get the sense that it flows a little better. Um, when I do get a chance, it will slightly modify the body so it looks almost seamless. And, uh, 
Oh, I'd like to show you my Deadpool custom soldier story body. A wall of guns sitting up there. Acting all cool. Um, after Hot Toys came out with their first Spider-Man, it kind of like uh, inspired me to do this custom. So it's a fully single suit. Well, it's a body suit. Just made out of an extra throwaway t-shirt and a sharpie. Um, that's put on a soldier story body. Now um, I'm going to try to get some lighting onto this so you can get some actual detail. Nope, can't do it. Not right now. I'll give you guys a closer look at that. Um, in a different video if you post enough comments and interest in it. <clears throat> uh, we're going to move on to the second detail. There's uh, the Iron Man. The Mark II is actually um, a Hurricane Sandy victim. I kind of had to Got out the insides because of uh, all the rust and battery that broke apart inside. But um, I actually went with, in with the Dremel tool and buffed out a lot of the rust. If you see those little brown spots, it was actually covered in it from the back side. But I got quite a bit of it off and um, can't really tell it was a survivor. Um, Tony in the suit on a soldier story body. Um, the crappy Hot Toys clone body for the uh, left handed Tony Stark. Oh, uh, you see a piece of rust. That's actually the uh, magnet um, right there by the uh, helmet. Uh, that's uh, the magnet that holds in the face shield. Here we have um, modded cap. Modded only because uh, I took apart his uh, suit and swapped out his body for a true type because I needed the shoulder articulation and the elbow articulation. The Odin. Which he doesn't really need torso articulation because of that armored suit. He doesn't really bend forward. But um, I switched it anyway. There's a um, Spider-Man 3 Toby, which I put on a slim and a black little hoodie, which was also tailored for him. Next is the slightly customed Superman. You can tell that body just looks awesome compared to the old one. For me at least. I love it. Uh, we have the King from, I think, Art Figures. And uh, just threw in a little bit of something of real leather boots instead of those plastic molded ones that he came with. Um, I actually added hair to his head. If you have it, you would see the difference from yours. So, I've also put some details into that sword it came with, where uh, I put the uh, markings on the blade like this one has this is actually um I forgot what company made it but uh the letter opener which is actually to scale if you look at it worked out perfectly the 
these are what I kept from my old collection only because I love these and um, couldn't give them up. They were just too good. These are DID, uh, also known as Dragon in Dreams figures. They're Samurai series. Uh, they're all the international um, versions. I know the uh, Japanese exclusive versions came with backdrops and fancy stuff like that. Um, but this one, I kind of kept. Though I didn't like Dragon and Dream Bodies, so I swapped all of them for Hot Toys Slim Bodies, which gives it just that much more realism. I mean, the suits themselves, you know, cloth suits with plated metal and, you know, the threading. It's all there, man. This one is actually a uh, Hurricane Survivor that uh, I redid. The original is behind him. That's what the suit would have looked like. This is what it looks like after being rusted for a while and yeah, and taken care of. Not really. You can tell the it's brighter and more vibrant than before it. it kind of dulled out. But what do you expect being submerged in seawater? That's a little custom base I made for him. And those are my dragon bodies. Uh, I mean, uh, dragon stuff. Okay, so um, now I'm going to move on to my military figures. And uh, the prize crop of my military figures is probably this guy, this setup. Now I made the base myself. Um, with uh, foam and paint and a lot of plaster. Um, these are all soldier story figures. Most of them were kit bashed. Uh, I just took parts from their Afghan Helvin, Helvin province figures and made up my own little squad. Now if you look at the details I put into the base. Yes, those are bullet rounds. Yes, that is grass and sand. I'm trying my best. Got some sandbags. Actually, I'm most proud of this one. This is my uh, favorite deal. I'm like a uh, fan of the Marines. So, <clears throat> now I'm going to move on to these guys. All these bases are uh, custom made um, by hand by me. only takes like uh, four days to make <laughs> only right bullet ribbon balls these are uh, the EOD soldier story figures with the I forgot the name of the I forgot the name of these guys seal team six I believe um, most of these bot most of these soldier story figures are stock out of the box with an exception of um, me adding different stuff to them just adding extra like uh, cloth gloves and maybe I'll just swap out the feet for uh, cloth boots um, and this one was my interpretation of some weird post-apocalyptic character I'll probably go in and uh, repaint that helmet black just because I want it to have a dark theme to it. Um, these bases I did not do. 
That was actually uh, given to me by Jack. It's a cool guy from the forums. I believe uh, he hate she hates me. Is his uh, username? Can't remember. But um, these are the CIA. Oh, I'm sorry, the S A D Black Ops version two and no, I'm sorry, version one and three. I didn't like version two with that um, half mask. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is the kit bashed military figure. Uh, I have no idea what I was doing when I was putting it together. I just put it together, not through reference, but through what I thought might look good. That's about it. Um, this is probably my second favorite maid. Um, these are army rangers, not marines. Now, um, I have a, I'm sorry, a, a crap ton of spare military pieces. Not uniforms, mainly, um, you know, radios, spare parts, and a huge tub of, you know, those are spare parts, spare parts, bins. You'll you'll get a lot of these uh, when you start modding. Um, they're really just those are just a bin full of cloth boots, heads and necks. But um, yeah, this is my collection. These are the boxes I liked displayed. Uh, you guys got any questions? You see like that bazooka he has in, no, not, not bazooka, but the missile launcher. Um, also given to Joker. I have many spare weapons. If you guys are interested, shoot me some comments. Maybe I'll just send them out to you. I'm just trying to get rid of it. I don't need to sell it. I don't need to trash it. Um, if you're interested in any sniper rifles, rifles, I don't have many um, M1s or AKs, but uh, I have many of these type of sniper rifles up to the top right that I could just, oh, and uh, you know, bull pups like that. Or even like the uh, HNK G36s, I have plenty of those. Hit me a comment and um, I'll see what I can do for you guys. And that has been my collection, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun.